Hey everybody. Alright, uh, today's mailbag is starting in about 15 minutes at 10 o'clock. And uh, we're going to go for an hour um, or, you know, when we finish, whichever happens first. So that's the plan. Uh, until then, you can watch this little guy try to play with this little fur mouse. And um, I will be back. I know, yes, they all want to go out and play around the house, which they're going to do right after mailbag. <laughs> that was some very excited leaping. All right, I'll be back.
Hey, good morning everybody and kittens. Uh, we're here for mailbag. I don't know exactly where I should sit. But I think I'm gonna sit right in the middle. Where these kittens are fighting. Oh, right here, buddy. Yeah, right up close to the camera. And that way, um, maybe we can see things a little better today. We'll find out. All right. So we usually start a uh, mailbag with a little bit of news. Also, with me checking the cameras to make sure that my angles are more or less correct. So, uh, what's news this week? Um, really nothing. Everybody's healthy, happy. Uh, let's see, I think we've got a vet appointment for Custard on Monday to follow up with his arthritis situation. No big deal. So, so yeah, just not much news, which is good. We like that. Uh, I'm way behind on everything, as always, of course. Uh, and that's now no change, so uh, not very interesting to talk about. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. Uh, I'm going to turn the camera behind me a little bit and see if uh, let's see here. There is that camera. One second. So let's start with some letters. Uh, let's see what we got. I think we have some letters. Uh, letter opener somewhere. There we go. Uh, we had letters somewhere. Where did I put them? Oh, oh, this is them. Okay, that's them right there. Good. Hey bud, you wanna sit over here in my lap for a minute here? How's your how's your collar looking? Pretty good? Pretty good. Okay, good, good. All right. Well, let's jump right in and see what we have. Oh, this one has a fancy gold seal with some hearts on it. Ooh, and a fancy gold interior too. Look at that. I feel like I'm I just won a trip to Willy Wonka's factory or something. Ooh. All right, uh, let's see. Oh, it's a cute little uh, classic kitten that says, this is for my, holding a letter that says, this is for my Valentine. It says, Valentine, you're perfect. I think you can see that. I hope you can. I should probably check the camera angles one more time and see what we're looking at. Whoa, okay. Uh, hang on. 
I'm gonna check the camera angles on the output so I know what we can see and what we can't see. All right, yeah, it's a little small, but there you go. All right. Uh, it says, Mr. A, Dr. DJ, and all Academy residents, happy Valentine's Day. We hope you feel all the extra love we are sending your way this happy heart day. Thank you for sharing your love with all of us. Love, Jen, uh, Gigi Mans, G-I-G-I-M-A-N-S, and Blaine. Yes, the Prairie family want to add their names to this, too. Extra love from Gracie, Lucy, and Steve, the Sugar Glider. Aw, thank you very much. That's super sweet. Uh, Gracie, Lucy, Steve, the sugar glider. That's a good name for sugar glider. Okay. Um, <laughs> I had a letter opener. I was using it. It was right here. There we go. All right. This one's very cute. It's got all kinds of little cat stickers on it, and it's sealed across the back with a whole bunch of cat stickers. There we go. Hi, kids. They're all over here now, of course. Very good timing, though. All right, this one's, oh, this one's got some pictures of uh, some black and white kitties stretching out on an oriental rug. And it also has a photo here of little tiny kittens from Norway Cat Fan. It says, thank you for all you do. Extra pets for Ari, Maggie, Eddie, and Logan from Norway Cat Fan. That's a beautiful uh, picture of a kitten that is now being eaten by a kitten. It says, hi, Mr. A and Dr. DJ. Thank you so much for all you do for kittens, mom, cats, non-moms, and faculty. Not to mention all the cat-loving people out here. The stream is on almost all the time when I'm home, which is often because I still self-isolate some. We are so lucky that you are such a tech-savvy Mr. A. The stream looks great, and the new scrawl and mini close-ups are awesome. You also manage real close-ups now and then. It was great that we finally got tiny tinies again. I missed the door hinge squeaks and loud opinions. Scotty is a great mom. Rooting for Pug and Bass to, uh, Bass to keep up those gains. Also, the Towney family is such a joy. I think I'm starting to tell them apart by their personalities. River is so beautiful. I see she likes her snacks and wanted to send her some and some toys. But I see Mailbag is starting to get a big affair, so I'm waiting a bit. Also, hoping for a permanent job so I can up my Patreon tier and spend some money on cats, K.A., and others. That's all for now. Thank you again, Mr. A and Dr. DJ and all the wonderful people on K.A. Discord. Love from Norway Cat Fan. On the other side of the letters, photos of Rocky. Was cat sitting him in December. I miss him, but I've been promised I can cat sit him later if his parents travel more. Rocky's a beautiful one. Thank you, Norway Cat Fan. It's so great to hear from you. I love the photos that you've included. Um, oh, and uh, I, I wanted to, to respond actually to what you said. I didn't, I don't, you shouldn't worry about, um, you know, uh, wanting to, to send us more stuff or to donate more. Like you say, uh, Mailbag's doing fine. And we're just glad to have you uh, hanging around as part of the Discord and, uh, you know, part of the, the family, really. So thank you for that. Uh, let's see. Okay, here we have what's clearly a Valentine's Day card covered in hearts uh and stickers and inside we have oh two little kittens sitting in a heart snuggled what a great photograph uh you can see i think maybe and it says dear mr a and dr dj hugs and kittens happy valentine's day you two crazy kids have a love story for the ages you also have uh found boundless love to to give to the most Vulnerable, which is beautiful to watch. Much love and thanks, Cecilia. Aw, thank you, Cecilia. You say, what are you writing a slug's Valentine's Day card? Be my valent slime. <laughs> That's great. Thank you, Cecilia. That's very sweet. And inside you've got more hearts and a little uh, red uh, letterbox with hearts on it. Very cute. My valent slime. I like that. Okay. Uh, I think now we need to switch to the knife. My knife. Uh, <laughs> that was my Borat imitation. I hope you like that. Uh, that's as good as it gets right there. Okay. <laughs> what? It? Oh, this is tiny. Okay, this is from Michelle J. It's something very tiny. It's in a little tiny thing. It says, handcrafted just for you. Enjoy. Oh, but what is it? It is a, it appears to be a very tiny uh, ruler, uh, measuring device. It, it seems to be measuring, what, probably millimeters. It measures up to 17 of them in a circle. 
It's a uh, appears to be a little circle uh, measuring device to measure up to 17 uh, millimeters. Um, now, what is it for? Is a good question. Oh, uh, maybe these are no, they can't be ring sizes. They're way too big to be ring sizes, aren't they? No, oh, maybe not. Maybe they are ring sizes. Maybe that's what it is—a ring sizer. I guess that could be. All right. Well, that's it. There's no note, but we know it's from Michelle J. So Michelle J, if you sent us something besides a ring, or if you sent us something to, um, I don't know, to size a kitten, I guess, uh, let me know. And we will figure it out from there. I'm just going to put that. It's so tiny. I'm just going to set it right on top of this stuff. There we go for now. Uh, Michelle J, thank you for the uh, mystifying gift. Oh, I see there's an address on the back of this one. We'll have to hide that from everybody. Okay. Oh, how did I miss that, I wonder? Probably because it's on the back. All right. This has some poems and an okay to read on stream note. Okay to read on stream. Mr. A, DJ, and all the furries sealed with a loving paw print. Aw, oh, thank you. All right. Ooh, beautiful uh, painting, drawing. Uh, looks like it looks like um, pencil, colored pencil of a uh, of a beautiful kitten. Wow. Uh, all right, and inside you say, dear Mr. A, DJ, and all the furries, just a wee card to say a big hello and to enclose two copies of a poem I've written for our darling girl, River. She and her tiny townies, or tiny tributaries, as I like to think of them, have been a great joy to watch during their studies at the Academy. One copy of the poem is, of course, for the Academy's humans, and one is for Sweetest River and her adoptive fa adutive family. Thank you for all you continue to do for cats and kittens, and for all, uh, and for those of us humans who have the pleasure and privilege of being able to follow all the furries, fosters, and faculty, uh, uh, furries, fosters, and faculty cats alike. Please give all the kitties special spoogles from me all the way from Bonnie, Scotland. Lots of love. Very best wishes from Joanne, your greatest Scottish fan. Thank you, Joanne. And here is your poem for River, Sweetest River. Uh, where is River? Oh, she's up there taking a nap. That's okay. River, you are beautiful. River, you are cute. River, you are the kind of kitty that perfection does so suit. I've watched you each and every day. And you've done a sterling job with your kittens, your tiny tributaries, to play. River, you are wonderful. River, you are wise. River, you are the kind of cat that is a vision of loveliness before my eyes. I've watched you stretch, I've heard you mew, and I've marveled at your devotion to your furry crew. You've meandered through all the Academy's classes with full marks and distinction, a succession of passes, You've been a credit to yourself and your adorable kittens. With you and them, I was instantly smitten. I shall miss you and them when you go to your forever homes, but be assured that not far from my heart will you ever roam. That's so sweet, Joanne. Thank you very much. And we'll make sure, of course, that one copy uh, goes to the adopters. In fact, I should separate that out so that I can put it with uh, endowments instead of with letters. Here we go. And we'll give them the one that is uh, wrapped in plastic. So I'll put that, I guess, just over there for the moment. I don't have a place to put stuff yet. And this one can go with our letters. And that can go with our letters. Joanne, thank you very much. It's really sweet of you to send that uh, poetry. Okay, uh, let's see. Well, let's see. This is Splotch and Bumble from Sage's Handmade. And would you look at this? We have a pineapple uh, a packaging, actually. That's, that's something. All right, let's see. Sage's Handmaid has sent um, the note. All right. Dear Mr. A and Dr. DJ, hi, this is a very quick note to let you know these two catnip fush are for Splotch and Bumble. I'm nearly finished with the kick bunnies for River and Scotty, but I wanted to send these along so they hopefully arrive before Splotch and Bumble. Oh, these are beautiful. Uh, before Splotch and Bumby get adopted. The yarn is 100% cotton and the heads are stuffed with the usual mix of Yao catnip and from the field catnip silver vine mix. 
Thanks for all you do. I hope you, DJ, and all the cats and kittens are doing wonderfully. Love, Sage. Sage's Handmade. Look at that. You got some uh, some little tags now that are branded with uh, Sage's Handmade written on them. So nice. And of course, you've got an Etsy store, which is Sage's Handmade uh, on Etsy. That's H-A-N-D-M-A-D-E. Uh, these are so cute. I love the colors you pick. They've got little eyes on them, and they seem like exactly the kind of thing that a kitten would love to play with. Because uh, they got this, you know, this part that you can throw around and this part that is sort of like a stringy bit for them to play with. Oh, my goodness. They're perfect. They, these kittens are going to love these things. And uh, hopefully uh, they will get adopted and go together and go soon. And uh, these can be in their endowments. Definitely got here in time, though. That's the good news. A uh, little splotch and bumble still looking for the perfect home. So let's see. That's an endowment. This is an endowment. So those I can put together rolling we got this uh from maya bastet and i have no idea what we're about to find here oh uh sage thank you so much those those things are really 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 cute you just keep like one upping yourself uh those i love the fish that's a great little design and uh, i hope it's on your store for other people i bet the cats are, are going to really go for it all right well this is interesting from maya bastet we have it says poop note or it's a note in a poop emoji emoji hello mr a and dr dj happy poop anniversary it's that time again and i couldn't let february pass without depositing some fun poo themed items into mailbag so wipe that frown off your face i do do hope you enjoy this stuff love and lobsters maya bastet that's cute yeah so when we first started mailbag way way back in the day uh, one of the very first things we said is, please don't mail us poop. And so, of course, everybody mailed us poop uh, right at the beginning. And I guess that's turned into a yearly thing now. Uh, let me say uh, that my week was celebrating uh, the poop anniversary with Splotch. Uh, Thursday, I, I picked Thursday for some just randomly to be the day I was going to clean house. And I did. I cleaned house Thursday. Then on Friday, uh, Splotch got a case uh, of the worms or whatever recurring thing that she has that is causing her to have bad poops. And we got poop everywhere. It was just a disaster. So I had to go and clean the whole house a second time yesterday in the morning. And then uh, due to a case of really bad judgment, as soon as I finished cleaning the house, I let Splotch out for a minute and more poops uh, around the house in various places. I had to clean it a second time. So... This has been, I've already had the poop anniversary as far as I'm concerned. Splotch has got me covered. Uh, but, oh, this is, this is cute. Uh, this is, uh, it's got bats. It has a poop emoji and it says the word crazy. I will let you put that together uh, however you like. I think um, Batman also appreciates poop emojis. So that's my story and I'm sticking to it. Here we have what appears to be a tiny uh, rainbow poop ice mold I'm, I'm pretty sure that's, or maybe it's just a mold for anything you could make little candies or something it's still silicone uh, silicone mold yeah that's right silicone mold silicone is the rubber silicon is the stuff you make computers with right we got it uh and uh pajamas poop pajamas wow uh they say all kinds of poopy things on them <laughs> They're very cute. Stinking cute, of course, uh, actually, is uh, one of the things that it says right here. So there we go. That stinks, stinking cute, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, these are really cute, and I will definitely wear these around if DJ doesn't steal them first. Uh, Maya, thank you so much for thinking of us uh, for, um, for poop anniversary. When I saw this, I expected it to be about something else uh, that I'm not going to ruin the surprise on, I guess. But uh, poop anniversary, every bit is good. So thank you for that. I'll have to figure out what the mold in this uh, this poop mold. I guess I could make little poops in it. Um, yeah, which would be a delicious treat for somebody. Whew. All right, uh, Maya, thank you for that though. That's really fun. That's that is that is a, that is a fun one. Um, okay, we're gonna keep going. Let's see. Uh, I was just looking to see if there was anything in the, the return address for this one, but there's not. I don't know. That poop. Uh, oh, I see. You're eating this little thing that's got the ring sizer in it. At least what I think is a ring sizer. That's my story. 
hold that up a little better. Okay, I recognize what this is, and the note says, "Ah, oh, deploy or add to the endowments at your discretion. Thank you for all you do, Mr. A, DJ, and faculty. Whoops. From Erica, uh, Erica slash H-I-W-R-I-K, hi, Rick, uh, number 6703 on Discord. Uh, hi, Rick, uh, you have sent us what is obviously a brand new Princess Pavilion. Uh, this is here. I'm not going to open it. Uh, some of you will recognize this as having been just a favorite thing of a couple of classes of cats after DJ bought. No, not wasn't DJ. It was Castata that bought the original one, right? Uh, so Castata sent us one. We put it out. The cats loved it to death. And um, then they were sold out on Amazon for a long time. Uh, DJ found one that she bought for us that is in storage, uh, but it's bigger than the original. This one, I can't tell which size it is, but either way, it's going to be a real big hit. Uh, we've got that pink one out right now. There's a different design because the pink one is closed on three sides, but this one is open on all four sides. And I think the cats really appreciate that uh, even more, although they're both big hits. So uh, like you said, you, uh, deploy or endow as we see fit. Well, uh, that's exactly what we'll do. Uh, for now, I think it's gonna go into the storage zone. And then if we find a cat that really likes it, it would make a great endowment. Or otherwise, uh, like you say, we will hang on to it and use it at uh, an appropriate uh, thank you very, very much. Wow, those th that, that that thing is such a, was such a hit and has been uh, such a hit with with multiple kittens. I'm just amazed. All right, uh, what is this now? This says Michelle J. All right. Oh, well, whatever it is, it is wrapped and then it is uh, wrapped and then it is wrapped again. Ooh, very rap. Wow, look at that. All right, okay. Wait, we're three layers deep. Oh, and oh, isn't this cute? Look at that. Isn't this cute? I love it. It Whoops, it appears to be a set of little fingerless gloves, which I think are sized more for DJ just based on, on looking at it. Uh, that's my guess anyway. Um, for staying warm, it's got a cat felted a felt cat on it and it's got this it's tied up with this cute little floral thing to make it extra fancy isn't that just sweet and adorable oh michelle oh and i see that the finger uh is it the the finger or the thumb um now i'm gonna have to well actually it is the it appears to be the pinky finger it has a heart on it um on just the one hand uh, I thought that that might be on the, the ring finger is like a, something that does touch screen stuff, but I guess you don't need that because this, these are fingerless clubs. So all your fingers stick out the end. So the pinky has a cute little heart on it. Uh, that's just adorable. We got a, a cat and a heart. Uh, Michelle J, thank you so much. Ollie, I will definitely, um, maybe I'll give those a try later on, but I think I'm going to be acquitted. Uh, I think that these are going to be for DJ. We will uh, we'll find out. That's so sweet, Michelle. Thank you. All right. Uh, where were we Where are we putting things? Okay, we're gonna start like that. Here's a one addressed to Scotty and the Scotty Lets. The Scotty Lets, that's a good one. Mr. A, cut here gently, no more cutting through notes. All right, well, I have instructions to follow. I did cut there gently, no notes. All right, everything's down at the other end. And what we have here are, oh, these are those same, are the same little name rings, aren't they cute? Here we have, we have a name ring for Bassy. We have one for Jack, Bernie, B, uh, Scotty. And then we also have Pom Pom, that's adorable. And Puggy, I love the nicknames that you've used. And just a very short note. And the very short note says, I can open it. It says, uh, Hi, Mr. A and Dr. DJ. Hope you are both keeping well. Enclosed are named rings for Scotty and the Scottylets. I used nicknames. Take care and stay safe from Charlie, I, Burrs, and Meows to all from Weirdo and Kevin. Uh, Charlie, I thank you so much. These are really sweet. Uh, these little rings are fun toys for the kittens. And the fact that you put their names on there makes them really, really special, I think, for the adopters. Uh, those, are, those are wonderful. And I just, I know they're gonna appreciate that so much. I'm gonna set those right there to head down with the endowments. Uh, 
Uh, there we go. Okay. Uh, Charlie I, that is just super sweet. I love the, the, the sort of work and the detail you put into this too with the different kinds of stitches and edges and colors. And especially though the name, the little name uh, beads in there really make it cool. So uh, on behalf of the future adopters, thank you so much for that. Oh, I recognize what these are. Uh, we've got one of these in the drawer sort of waiting to be used, I think. Um, but this is from Dragon Lady. One, two, three, uh, four. So these are those toys. This is a butterfly toy that has these little gossamer wings that you may you may not be able to see too well, maybe just by the colorful reflection of them. Uh, it's got these, these really pretty wings, and then it's got a little body here and some feathers that you can see. And the whole thing is attached to an elastic band that hangs on this, this door hook. So you hang it from a door. So it's just like the toys that you've seen, uh, the adorable uh, bird toys that you've seen. Uh, but this one is a cute little butterfly. And like I said, uh, I think it was uh, Dragon Lady sent one of these previously, and I put it in uh, the toy drawer out there to be to try out on these kittens, which I don't think we've gotten to yet. Uh, but it is right out there. I think this is going to be a real big hit, at least as big a hit as the um, as the the a doorbell toy, and probably cheaper. It might be more of a hit too, because like I said, it's got those those wings that are like nearly invisible, and that kind of thing can really uh, be a draw for a cat or a kitten that wants to play with things. So it might might be an even bigger hit. We'll see. Uh, thank you for those, by the way. All right, this is also from Dragon Lady. All right, keep it rolling. Uh, tricky one to open without cutting through something. It's just all packed right in there. Oh, oh, aren't these cute? Um, we've had uh, we've had these little like foam balls for kittens before. You've seen them before. They're all the like the same size as a ping pong ball, right? And they're shaped like various things: soccer balls, golf balls, uh, and they're squishy. Well, this appears to be the exact same thing: little foam golf balls, but they're much smaller. Uh, the regular, there might even be one around here. I guess not, but uh, but you know the size of a ping pong ball. So these are about half that size. Uh, little tiny colorful golf balls. They're divoted like little golf balls and they're foam, so they're squishy. And I'm just, I'm really excited about these because they're the perfect size and material for little tiny kittens. The guys upstairs, this is the perfect toy for them at this age right now. They're going to love it. I'd also like to toss one or two out here because I've never seen this particular kind of tiny ball before. Uh, I think these will last longer and maybe be more fun even than the Charlie balls that we're used to that are also come in this size. Um, but they tend to get torn up pretty quickly. So. Okay. These things are so light. All right, well, we'll leave those two there. We'll put the rest down for uh, future endowments. Oh, but I am going to put a couple in my pocket right now to take upstairs with me. Uh, to give the kids upstairs because it's perfect for them. Huh. Oh, look at that. See, we've already got somebody playing with one. Look at that. Oh, he's going to he's gonna make it go everywhere. All right. She. These two are girls. That's Villa, and the other one, the one with the blue little ball, is Chalet. And then I see the boy, one boy there. I don't know where everybody else is. A bundle of climbing into the hammock. Okay. Good times. Wow, those are cool. Those are really cool, Dragon Lady. I've not seen those before, and they seem like they, I mean, you can see it's already hit for at least one kitten. But I think they're going to be a big hit for a lot of kittens. That's, that's a great little toy. Thank you for those. All right. Uh, Chewy. I think I saw something. Oh, this says care of. Okay, this is good. Chewy doesn't let you leave notes. So uh, what a lot of people will do is put their name in the return address so I know who it's from at least. And this says uh, to Kitten Academy, care of Great Lakes. So, uh, Great Lakes, thank you for sending. Oh, oh, it is the, uh, it's like a Popo Sneets house, right? Except it is a bungalow. And uh, I think it's a little smaller than that. This one is made for cats. Oh, you know what? Actually, I thought this was familiar. We've seen this one. We saw this one last year. This is the one uh, that they, they kept taking the, the roof off of and, and knocking around everywhere. Which group was that? Was that the Ports Oranges, I think? that had this same house. 
Uh, anyway, it's, it says it is a bungalow, and I believe uh, I got a message from Great Lakes saying this was sent uh, for bungalow, I think. Uh, is it possible for me to check my messages? Let me see. I have a lot of old messages here to look at, so. Oh, uh, Great Lakes Marie asked me to give you the following note. I've sent some things for River and her tiny townies endowments i was hoping it would all be in the same mailbag but it looks like part of it will not arrive until next week this week there should be two boxes from chewy and one from amazon from chewy there are seven ball and feather toys six are for river and her tinies as well as one for deployment also a yao lemon for however you see fit uh that's however you see fit and the other item from chewy is a bungalow for bungalow there should be a note with the amazon box but if not that's for lodge the rest of the items are arriving next week and should have a note. I discovered KA about a year and a half ago and very much enjoy watching. I'm not allowed pets where I live, but would love to find a change someday. It's very relaxing to come home after work, especially during these trying times, to watch cats and kittens just do their thing. Thank you so much. Great Lakes Marie. Uh, thank you so much, Great Lakes Marie. This bungalow is going to be perfect for bungalow. I think it's exactly the kind of thing that uh, any cat would like. Uh, we've seen that the, all these pop-up pods are a huge hit. This one has been a huge hit. Uh, but more than anything, Bungalow likes to find a hiding spot. And uh, this, this will make a good one for that as well. So all around, a very good choice for Bungalow. Uh, this one is from Joy F. So this is not the other Chewy box from uh, Great Lakes Marie. But let's see what Joy F has said. Oh, uh, here we have from Joy F, we have two cactuses and we also have two lamb chops. Look at those. Those are so cute. Little tiny lamb chops. These little tiny lamb chops have a blap. They're like sticking their tongue out too. So cute. Okay. Uh, Joy F, thank you for the lamb chops and for the, uh, the uh, cactuses. I guess I'll have to catch you online to figure out uh, what the intent was, since there's not a note with the Chewy stuff. But for now, I'm going to drop them right into this other Chewy box, consolidate things a little bit. Hey, boys. Hey, Lodge. 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 I think Yurt said take it easy. Lodge and Yurt are fighting, and also Villa is, is attacking Mom's tail. There's a whole bunch going on right back there in the spot that you guys can't see right now. So sorry. Uh, but I'm sure they'll bring it back around this way in just a minute. Not uh, speaking up. Okay. Oh, laptop desk. Oh, thank you. That, that is so cute. Um, let's see. Does this say who it's from? Well, I don't think it does say who it's from, but we will find out. Uh, this must be in response to the, uh, the joke that I made last week that I was looking for like a, a table, um, which was, it really was just supposed to be a joke. But uh, I think something like this could end up being very useful. Uh, for mailbag or in general. So let's find out here. Uh, let's find out what it looks like. Wow. Hmm. Oh, how do we even open this thing? I got it all wrong. Let's try again. Oh, look at that. That's very pretty. Uh, it is a uh, bamboo um, tiny little desk with tiny little legs. And I could, uh, there we go, little tiny desk, little tiny legs. This is a, this, I think this is sent as a way for me to try something new for, uh, for mailbags. Some, a way to sort of sit near a camera and have a tiny table, just put things on, but still be at kitten level, which is why we do this on the floor, by the way. Uh, you know, this, the show, the Kitten Academy, has always been about the kittens. And, uh, you know, even during mailbag, we want to make sure the kittens are the, the big thing that's involved or at least able to be involved. So uh, that's why we do it like this. And I think that laptop desk at least opens up some possibilities, things, things that we can try. So uh, thank you very much. And uh, I think there, there may be somebody on Discord to give credit to uh, for that. But... Um, I, I, I wanted to find out uh, first before I give credit to anybody um, whether this is the, the sort of laptop desk that I was told to expect, I guess, or a different one, because there's not any any um, any further information there. So we'll, we'll sort that one out. We'll get back to it. But in the meantime, thank you very much. 
Uh, this one says Great Lakes Marie. So this is the Amazon package from Great Lakes Marie. And the Amazon package says, uh, this lodge is for lodge as an endowment. Please see message on Discord for details for the other shipments from me. Thank you for everything you do for cats and kittens from Great Lakes Marie. All right, Great Lakes Marie, uh, thank you again. And this lodge is one that we haven't seen, but it's so cute. And it even has a spot. Oh, I see. It says this is one of the things. It has a spot in the front where you can write the name of your kitty. It says, this house belongs to, and then there's a blank spot to fill in a uh, lodge. This looks really cute, too. And I see it's got windows on three sides and then the door on the front so they'll be able to look out and play through the windows, and especially for kittens, like little windows like this that you can't fit through, but you can put your paw through. Endless fun. Because you can, uh, you can, you know, hit uh, other cats through there, or try to reach toys that are in the house when you're not. All that kind of fun stuff. So Lodge, Lodge is going to get a big kick out of that. And uh, because I've taken it away from any note, I'm going to write Lodge on it so we don't forget. In fact, I'm going to write it right as though. There, I wrote it on the, uh, the house, <laughs> which I probably won't see later when it's time <laughs> to distribute it, but we'll, I'll write it on both sides and that'll double my chances. Perfect. Very, very cute. Thank you very much. Lodge says thank you very much. Okay. How are we doing for time? 34, so not bad at all. Uh, all right. What is this one? Doesn't say anything there. It's clanky. Oh, oh, hey, what a fun idea. Uh, it appears to be a long litter scoop. Hang on now. Uh, very interesting. It's a 32 inch cat litter scooper. Thank you. Uh, thank you and Dr. DJ for taking care of these wonderful cats and providing us with prescription doses of kitty cuteness. Now take care of your cat. Uh, now take care of your back. <laughs> Uh, now take care of your back. Consider this an ergonomic token of gratitude for the most trafficked box from Sarah J slash Bill Cat. Well, uh, Sarah and Bill, thank you so much for this litter scooper. This looks like a good one, too. It's nice. It's, a, it's aluminum. Uh, it seems like it's going to work really well. It seems like it's going to last a long time. And it's also uh, very long. Like this brings, oh, look at that. It's got two hand grips on it too. So if you've got like some really heavy stuff, uh, you can get some leverage on it. Look at that. Look at, look at that grip on this litter scooper. Like that is serious. Uh, there's also a joke here about like, I wouldn't touch that with a 10 foot pole. Like, like this is a way for me to stay just a little bit further from the action. Uh, maybe we can get DJ to start doing some litter boxes with this thing. <laughs> uh, it's really cool. I have thought about something like this before, especially at times when I do have a little bit of back pain going on um, or otherwise don't feel like getting down near every box all day. Uh, so this is going to be fun to play with. And like I said, it's also just real solid construction. These grips are really nice. Um, it's, uh, it's, it's very fun. I feel like it's made to pick up like some really heavy poop. Like I hate to keep making Futurama references, uh, but Nibbler, you know, uh, like he pooped dark matter that, that weighed like as much as a sun, you know, and you, uh, anyway. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, yeah, that's, uh, it's super cute and I'm excited to try it out. And, uh, I don't, I can like now figure out which litter box is going to be the one that's going to be best to use it on. Uh, it's, it, you know, it's too bad it's such a dirty job because you could get something like that that was extendable and just carried around with you all the time. Uh, that would work too. Um, but uh, yeah, I don't, I don't, by the way, I don't, I don't know if, if I really like it, I'll get some for each litter box, but I don't know if that's going to be the case, uh, but we'll find out. It's going to be fun to check it out. So thank you so much, uh, Sarah and Bill the cat. All right. Put that right back there. I like it. Okay. I'm going to open this box off to the side here. Uh, also from Joy F. Oh, wow. <laughs> All right. I guess pavilions came back in stock. Uh, some people thought uh, it was time to stock up. 
because Joy F has sent us what appears to be a box full of the Princess Pavilions. Uh, we have one. I'm looking for the note note, by the way. Two, three, four, five, six. Wow. Okay. We are going to be stocked up on those. And here's the notes at the very bottom, of course. The notes say, hi, Mr. H. I'm sure she won't mind, but don't tell mom. We think puppy kitties really need these, but you can use as you see fit too. May ship separately. Kitten hugs from Bayou, Lila, and Abby. Oh, and Joy F, of course. So thank you so much, Joy F. These are wonderful. And I like the idea of uh, we'll make sure that the puppies get a chance to get exposed to them because one, two, three, four, five, six. Well, that's exactly the right number to endow for the little puppy kitten, isn't it? So what I'm going to do is put these back in your box and whoops, we're going to label that for puppy endowments. Uh, we'll see. Now, if by some chance we expose the puppies to uh, one of these and they're like, nah, it's no fun, then we'll do like you said and uh, spread the joy. Um, but for now, uh, that's the plan. And I'm just going to take these from Charlie and put them right back in there as well. That will work out just fine. All right, Joy F, thank you. This is our, uh, I, I, by the way, I took out the uh, the Valentine's Day stuff that everybody had sent for Valentine's Day, and I threw it around a little bit, so that's why this, we've got the Love Mouse, we've got the Love Tunnel, and there's a couple other toys around too, but then we've got a blanket that's out there, and I gave DJ uh, that, the, there was like a sleigh, like a Valentine's sleigh. Ooh, Valentine's sleigh makes me think of a different kind of like, like the Valentine's Day massacre or something. Um, you know, famous incident uh, to any Chicago in any way. Um, so yeah, anyway, it's, it is. It's a Valentine's Day sleigh, and I don't know why it's a sleigh, uh, but uh, it's very cute. And so I, I brought that up to DJ to assemble and deploy uh, today, which I think is, is going to happen as well, probably. Okay, uh, this, oh, this is from Evo on Discord. Evo on Discord. Thank you, Evo on Discord. And I think you messaged me about this. Um, but I, I, obviously, I don't, uh, well, that, that's fine. Hang on. Uh, slow down a little bit. Um, okay. Oh, thank you so much. Okay. Uh, this is, like you said, oh, <laughs> this is cute. Uh, the, the, the thing here, so this is from Bean Products. Uh, Bean Products. Evo has sent us something from Bean Products. And that's Bean, B-E-A-N, just like you'd think. And it says here, it's a carbon neutral order. They uh, plant the tree for every order they ship. So that's cute too. But what you sent and you told me about this is a Zafu meditation cushion. And you had told me that this was also for me to use uh, during mailbag to sit on and that uh, you personally, I think, had said that you recommended this as uh, something to use, to sit, sit on. I assume you just sit your butt on it. Uh, it's cute. It says bean products. Well, and it's, uh, it's exactly like it says. It's a little blue cushion of some kind. Let's just open this up. Well, that's super cute, and it's uh, it's you know it's got some depth to it too. So I think it's meant to cross your legs on, and I might have to read some instructions to find out exactly how I'm supposed to sit on it, uh, which I'm not going to read right this second during mailbag because um, we got to keep this moving. But uh, let me just check this real quick. Here's the note. Uh, this is a special kind of pillow called a Zafu. This design has been used by Zen meditation practitioners for thousands of years to help them sit in a cross-legged position on the floor for long periods of time without back strain. In fact, according to tradition, the first Zafu was made by the Buddha himself. Well, it may not help you achieve enlightenment. We hope the Zafu will make all the time you spend sitting on the floor for mailbag or just caring for the kittens a little more comfortable. If it turns out to not be your thing, it will probably make a pretty good cat bed if you take a bunch of the buckwheat out of it. So it's filled with buckwheat. I wondered what that was. Uh, 
Oh, and the bamboo sitting desk. So that's also from Evo. Uh, Evo. Uh, the bamboo sitting desk has a drawer to store cat toys or treats in, as well as a stand to show off the art and cards that people send. It'll stand up on its own so you can show off the art of this great community while having another service to keep things easy to reach and available from the Zafu. We wanted you to have these gifts to thank you for all the care you give to the kittens and your community. Evo and Jesse have been watching KA since Evo stumbled upon the live stream as Port gave birth to her oranges. We have loved every class so much and will send you local papers as you are now part of our daily adventures as we travel and rejoin the world. We start our West Coast mornings with coffee, kittens, and you, and especially love to see the kitty chaos during mailbag on Saturdays. Thanks again for all you do, Evo and Jesse. Uh, well, thank you very much. Uh, much appreciated. Wow. Uh, you also sent me some pictures of a cat that you met in Hawaii. It was beautiful, like a dilute orange, like a very uh, almost color point dilute palette. Okay. All right. So this is this is really cool. Like I said, I'm probably going to have to look it up, but it's got a, a little a handle that uh, helps obscure the fact that it has a zipper, so you can open it up and remove stuff if you want to. What a nice uh, design! Like this is it's just a it's a simple design, but it's it's the details that make it it really good. Like the seams are really good, and then this uh, not only being a handle but hiding the seam and the zipper is so that's just a nice little quality thing. Uh, I really like it. Clearly, clearly quality. I'm gonna, I am gonna sit on it, and if I'm doing it wrong, then I'll find out later. But for now, oh, oh. all right. Wow, that definitely that, that gets you up a little higher than I expected, and then uh, it takes all the pressure off of my legs too, which is kind of nice. Hmm. I like it. I think I like it. Uh, okay. So uh, thank you very much, Evo, for both things. And uh, where did I just put my knife? Oh, I probably oh, it's right there. It's fine. All right, there we go. Oh, this is this is nice. Um, huh. I think this one had a name in the return address or something, but now this is oh, here we go. Yes, this is from ah yes uh, Ruth and Bob. That was the Ports adopters, Ruth and Bob. By the way, that reminds me. I wanted to say to Ruth and Bob, you guys sent us some uh, Valentine's Day, uh, I guess, candy yesterday. Uh, it was some truffles and some strawberries that came yesterday. It came a little early, but it was the perfect day for something like that to arrive, and it really helped a lot after. I had done all the cleaning for the poop and then the, the like the big sort of disappointment that was realizing I had to clean everything a third time within two days. Uh, you know, I was really feeling it. And then I got that uh, the Valentine's candy from you and it just, it really helped. So uh, thank you for that. It came at exactly the right time. And then I ate way too much of it and then I felt really bad. So uh, thanks. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, this is such a cute, oh, oh, you sent another donation. Thank you very much for that. I'll put it right in here. Okay. Uh, and you say, dear Mr. A and Dr. DJ, celebrate like a cat today. Eat, sleep, ignore everyone who annoys you. Hope you both have a nice Valentine's Day from Ruth and Bob. The Valentine's toys and small boxes are one for each mom, cat, faculty, and kitten old enough to play with them. Also one for Bumble and Splotch. Nice uh, mice to use as needed and blanket as you see fit. Happy Valentine's Day to all the KA kitties. Aw. Thank you so much. That is really sweet of you. So uh, as you say, here you sent, oh, a pop-up cube. These are always useful. It says Puppy Academy. So this is a pop-up cube for them. There we go. Uh, pop-up cubes, just always, always a hit. Uh, here we have some mice, like you say, little felt, uh, felted mice, very cute. We've got these very feathery fish that are also, they've got this like sparkly scale pattern on them. I like that a lot. Very eye-catching. We have, oh, real fur mice, the good stuff. Cats in us. And this is the same uh, real fur mouse that you saw. What's his name? You saw it was all morning. Where is it? Is it under there? That's slowly playing with? No, that's a feather. Uh, it's around here somewhere, so you know that it's a big hit. Um, thank you so much for that. 
than the blanket. Very cute plaid, uh, pink plaid. I think DJ is going to really like that. I'm sure it will get deployed. And then finally, you sent a whole set of these Valentine's Day collection Yuli the Sweetheart Cat Toy Set. Uh, contains organic cat in. All right. Uh, I can't tell if it's just a heart or if there's something more I should describe about it. So let's open one of these up right now and take a quick look. And then uh, you did say these were for everybody who can play with them. So we can just leave one out right now. Oh, I see. That's why it's such a big box. Each one is a set of candy hearts, uh, except not candy hearts. This one says, I love Mew. This one says, XOXOXO. This one has sprinkles on it. And uh, this one has a heart on it. Oh, wow, a heart on a heart. Okay. So I'm just going to uh, put these right around the room right now because today is the day. And there we go. They will find those and play with them. You've also sent a whole bunch more of those for us to sort of distribute around. So thank you very, very much for that. heard a strange noise, but I don't see anything, so I don't know. I don't know what it is, but that's okay. All right. Uh, hey, bud. Hi. Hi, Chalet. Can I can I actually have this box? Thank you. We're just going to take the rest of these out of the box and, and uh, put them somewhere. I guess we're going to put them into that box to consolidate a little bit. There we go. Right in there. Perfect. And now this box can go over that direction somewhere. That sounded like it slid something in it, but I don't think it did. Okie dokie. Ah, here we have a box with some beautiful rainbow tape on it. All right, beautiful rainbow tape. Oh, this is from Alto Clarinet Lady. Alto Clarinet Lady from Canada. And the rainbow tape is very pretty. Uh-oh, it says flip over. Like why would Canada Post put a sticker on here that says flip over and put it on the side that's pretty clearly the top. That's that's weird. Okay, well, all right, Canada Post. Well, hey, you know what? I do what I want. Ha! Try and stop me. Uh, all right, let's see. We've got a note taped on here, and the note says, Dear Kitten Academy, I decided to send you a few things. I hope you don't mind receiving a few Christmas items. I'm sending an ornament I decorated along with a pillow I got at a store because I thought it looked nice. I'm also sending some stickers and cat food, and I thought I'd let you know that there are now chocolate bars with mini eggs in them. That sounds like something you might like. Thank you for all that you do for the cats and the viewers love Emily, who is also clarinet lady. I did not know that they made candy bars that have the Cadbury mini eggs in them. As you know, Cadbury mini eggs are a weakness of mine. Uh, and, oh, it looks like you sent them so that I can uh, enjoy that weakness. Uh, these are candy bars that have mini eggs in them. Thank you. All right. Okie dokie. Well, I will definitely eat that, although I shouldn't. Uh, you've also sent, as you said, some cat food. Uh, it looks like the uh, standard fancy feast in the uh, classic pate, chicken flavor, exactly what it is. Perfect. And that should, I think that's all packing material, so we'll put that over there. And here we have, oh, oh, I see. This is the pillow you got. It is very Christmassy. Look at that. That's beautiful. It's got Christmas ornaments on it. I can see why you liked it. And as you say, this is the Christmas ornament that you painted. Oh, it's so cute. It has the Kitten Academy logo on it. But instead of a tassel hanging from the motor board, it is a Christmas tree ornament hanging from the motor board. Mortar board, easy for me to say. I hope you can see that. It is very pretty. I, I also like the, the ornament itself. It's sort of like an eggshell white. Uh, that's, that's real pretty. And then also, like you say, uh, ban Banania. Uh, Banania, easy for me to say. Uh, sticker set that's so cute and that's exactly what it is all the characters from the show uh, which are you know cats that, that live in bananas that uh, aspire to someday be something more and it's all about their lives and, uh, there you go uh, very cute oh it's even crunchy roll branded look at that how sweet uh, that's that's really cute did I tell you guys that crunchy roll sent us a Christmas like a like a thank you uh, it was like a holidays thing. It was just, it was a little thing of truffles that was just sweet. 
they were actually crunchy roll truffles that were, I mean, it might happen during mailbags, so maybe you know. Anyway, I just thought it was really cute that, that they thought of us and sent us not only a Christmas card, but some cute little truffles and stuff. Uh, really sweet. They're, they're good people over there. At least the ones that we know uh, over at Crunchy Roll are very, very good people. And uh, and this is super cute. And I have actually, I've, I've kind of started a sticker collection uh, from all the stickers that I've managed to find that people have sent us over the years. I've, I've put them all together into a pile with a plan of like decorating my laptop and stuff like people do uh, with all of them, uh, which I haven't done yet, but I am collecting them. He's playing with that little tiny uh, um, golf ball, the little tiny foam blue golf ball. Villa is just going nuts on it. Wow. I knew that was going to be a good one. All right. Uh, thank you, Alto Clarinet Lady. These are really sweet. And by the way, I don't mind at all getting the Christmas stuff, uh, even though it's come late. It's wonderful, and I'm still putting away Christmas things for next year. So I will add this to the pile of stuff for us to have out and around next year. I'm trying to figure out where to put it so I can bring it downstairs, but also care, you know, so that I don't break anything. Uh, so I think I'm going to put it in here to carry downstairs so I don't break anything. There we go. This I'm going to put right back here. Perfect. Uh, these all have to go with me. All right, we'll figure the rest of that out uh, in due time. But for now, we've got just a couple more things left to open, so I think we're going to get through everything today. It is uh, it is ten fifty four, but I feel like yeah, we can push it just a little bit. Especially with this cushion, I'm surprised what a difference it makes. I would not have thought that something like this uh, would work quite so well uh, for this, but it really does. Wow, this one's all packing material. Okay, there's probably something in here. Oh, oh, so there is. We even know who this is from. This has got to be from Clint. Yes. Hi, Mr. A. Here are bowls for River and her kittens from Clint in NH. Clint, I hope you're doing well. I really do. Um, it's uh, it's awesome that you've been sending these kinds of bowls for every class and are continuing to do so. Uh, so they're just uh, like always here. All of them are. Where is he? All right. Uh, just like always, what you sent are pressed steel bowls that will last uh, forever. I mean, these things will last forever. And I like the fact that the ones that you pick are plain, because we've had some that come with like um, like an enamel or a color on them, and that always comes off after repeated dishwashings and starts to look really bad. In fact, you'll see a couple that we still use around here ourselves uh, for, for water, uh, mostly that have this like blue stuff just peeling off the sides. Uh, so yours are never going to do that because they're they're plain. It's perfect. They're going to look good forever. And uh, of course, the rubber ring that goes around the bottom so that it doesn't slide around, which is also really nice. So these are just great. And as always, you have sent one for each of them. Uh, that's really, really sweet of you, Clint. Wonderful. And it's something that, that you know, their doctors uh, are going to have then forever. And, uh, you know, as a reminder of you and of, of their, their cat's time at Kitten Academy. I really like that. So, uh, all right, three more boxes. Here they are. We've got two Chewies and an Amazon. Oh, wait, there's another box over there. Oh, there's one that almost got away. All right, four more boxes. But look, we're so close. There's no reason to take this to another day. So we're going to power through. Now, this one says Joy F on it. All right, Joy F. Oh. This is filled up with stuff. Oh, right, there's not going to be a note because it's from Chewy. Um, but it is uh, an uh, odd assortment of cat toys. What we have here. We have uh, Retro Plush Lips and ca uh, Lip Gloss Cat Toys. So it says Lip Gloss. Uh, there's a couple of lip glosses in there and a pair of lips to put them on. Uh, we got a few of those, actually. Two, three, four, 
Uh, then we also have a set that is retro plush comic book cat toy. These are little comic uh, word blurbs that say, pet me, feed me, snuggle me. Pet me, feed me, snuggle me. Uh, there we go. Pet me, feed me, snuggle me. Those are also very cute. Then we have a corn dog. Oh, wow. Look at that. <laughs> oh, it says baseball corn dog cat toy. All right. Well, uh, and it's got a uh, little ketchup and mustard uh, uh, ribbons on it, too. Uh, so that's a that's a corn dog. Wow, trying kind to of give me a craving for a corn dog. I haven't had one of those in a long time. Uh, we got three corn dogs, four corn dogs. We got four corn dogs. We got four lipsticks. Uh, we got two comic books. Uh, we've got this weird uh, owl with a mustache. It does say magic owl. It is an owl with a mustache and a bow tie. Uh, I don't know why, but it's a cat kicker and it looks really fun. So we got two of those. And then we have two uh, magic doves. So we have magic doves and magic owls. The magic dove has a top hat and a bow tie. Interesting. Very interesting. This is a very strange assortment of cat toys. Uh, each of them are, are ones that I've never seen before, including the last one here, Happy Knit Pet Link's Lemur. Uh, it is a lemur, and it says, this one says it blinks, it lights up with flashing eyes. So probably quieter than what we're used to, but flashier than what we're used to. Uh, very interesting. And he looks very lemury too, doesn't he? Wow. All right. Uh, Joy F. Uh, that was Joy F, wasn't it? Yes, it was Joy F. Uh, you will have to let me know if there was any special purpose for any of those, or if they're just for fun, do what we want. Uh, in which case, I think we will. I promise I won't eat any of those corn dogs, as tempting as they look. And uh, next, Joy F, thank you again. Here we have, oh, Great Lakes Marie. All right, good. I know we were still expecting something from Great Lakes Marie, but now I've forgotten what it was, so this will be a fresh surprise. What was that Zoom for, Bungalow? Well, we got some packing material and some more packing material. These things are very useful. Those like uh, cardboard bricks, I guess. Oh, right. Uh, so here we have a catnip cat toy with extra stretchy cords to bite and pull. Oh, they are extra stretchy. Wow. Huh, that's pretty cool. Oh, oh, and that's pretty fun too. So you haven't just sent one of those. Uh, it appears like you sent uh, this one and then a couple sets. There's three more here. So, oh, and then three more over here. So that's six, seven of them. Oh, these are the you said one of these for each of, I think, um, Scotty's kids upstairs, maybe, and then one to deploy. So uh, maybe the one to deploy should go right here for now. These guys seem like they're really into this. Why don't we give them a minute to see what they think? And then also, as you mentioned, a uh, Yao catnip lemon to use however we like. And I'll put that in the cabinet because everybody's got some catnip right now, but those are so good to have on hand when we bring in like a new mom cat or something that needs some catnip. Uh, the knees I'm going to pile in here with the other endowment stuff, uh, and we will figure that out, of course. Oh, it's okay, guys. What do you think? Huh? You want to play with this some more? Huh? Look at Jiggles. Uh, yeah, it's big, too. Uh, look, there's your little tiny tail. All right, last one. This one just says Kitten Academy on the outside, so we're going to have to look inside for a note. Oh, aha. Uh -huh. Yes, so this is the other thing that I thought. Oh, this might actually, well, I'll let this slide out. This is an uh, Adrian Dax side table. Uh, and that's exactly what it is. It's a little short pop-up table that's also a very nice blue color. I like uh, that everybody that decided to send stuff sort of paid attention to the color scheme that we have going right now. Uh, but uh, DJ and I have discussed it, and it seems like we do sort of tend to use these uh, the blue more often, the blue and the cool colors more often than we get into the reds and the warm colors these days. So uh, probably the right choice for uh, sort of on an ongoing basis. I really like the color. I really like the height. I really like the size. Um, it is perfect to use for mailbags and kittens and things. 
So uh, thank you so much for that. This I know who this one was from. Uh, this this is the one that I was expecting from. Uh, hang on here. I got to check the names. I think. <sighs> There we go. It's it's Chibui. Chibui. Uh, Chibui is that name I, I've always enjoyed. Um, so you said this is a Nebel, I think, and I believe this is from you. Uh, you definitely said it would come today. So I hope this is it from Chibui. Um, it is. It's exactly the right thing. Uh, it's a little table, just the right size for me to use while I'm sitting down. And uh, I, I really do appreciate it. I think I'm, I'm excited to try it out. I think it's perfect. So. Thank you for that. Uh, Chibui, by the way, is that one of those nicknames. I've seen it a few times now, and every time I see it, I get that song uh, stuck in my head, uh, which I guess you may or may not be familiar with if you uh, if you were never a fan of big band music. Uh, but there's a Glenn Miller tune, uh, Choo Choo Chiboogie, uh, about trains, of course. They were so big into trains during the big band era. Uh, Choo Choo Chiboogie, though, uh, I, I don't know, for some reason, the nickname always gets that that um, that song stuck in my head every single time. So this is this is beautiful. Thank you so much. Thank you to everybody for everything. Uh, thank you guys so much to everybody that sent a little something, you know, uh, for me, uh, for you, Maya at the Poop Stop, or everybody uh, with the, the back uh, care. I, I do appreciate it. It's it's so sweet that you guys are, are not just taking care of the kids, but taking care of me. Uh, I, I can't tell you how much I appreciate it. It's really sweet to know. Um, it's really sweet to know there's so many of you out there who care. Uh, and I know it. I do know it. I mean, you know, I know it all the time. I talk to you on Discord. There couldn't be anything more obvious. Um, but it is, it, it's still sweet. Uh, and it's sweet to have the reminder of that once in a while. So thank you so much. All right. Uh, as always, the thing that I need to do now is uh, get all this stuff out of here and put away. And because these kids seem like they are really excited to go play, uh, we're going to open the doors and let them go do that right now before we're even officially wrapped up with mailbag. Right after I confirm with DJ that there's still no other cats out in the house. And then River can go run around for a little while, too. So... Uh, I'm going to do that, and then I'll come back and I'll say thank you again, and that will have been mailbag. So here we go. Oh, oh, wait, one more box. Oh, man, I just did all the wrap-up, and I forgot there was this box right back here. It keeps, there we go. It hid, it hid away, and uh, let's just let's do this real quick. Let's see. This one is from Scarlet Hotshot. Scarlet Hotshot. I'm sorry. We almost missed your box. But hang on. Oh, and a note. Okay. Mr. A and Dr. DJ. From the cats. You are the very nicest human that any cat has got. And this just comes to tell you that you sure are loved a lot. Happy Valentine's Day. Uh, dear Mr. A and Dr. DJ, thank you so much for all you do to fill the cats and kittens' lives with love who come your way. These colorful kitty toys were just too cute to not send for some February fun. Much love, Scarlet Hotshot. Scarlet underscore Hotshot. The underscores are very important. Uh, so uh, these, first off, we have some Valentine's Day stickers. Very cute. And then, uh, oh, it's all Valentine's Day. Look at that. Wow. All right, we're going to be stocked up uh, just like with the Christmas stuff. We're going to be stocked up for next Valentine's Day. Uh, so we have Valentine's Day wands. Look at that, very pink. <laughs> Each of these has two wands. Uh, one with what appears to be a big pookie ball, and the other one with some ribbons and a bell. We have, oh, a Valentine's Day pop-up tent. Well, I think that's got to be popped up now, hasn't it? Uh, I would give it to um, the puppies, but the puppies are a little too young to enjoy a pop-up tent yet. Uh, they're just, they're pretty soon, like one more week maybe, they'll be at the age where they'll be ready for the swinging basket, though. And, and then maybe a pop-up tent. They just need to get a little bit better at running around. Uh, but this is, this is perfect. All right. Uh, for now, I'm going to set it here, but we'll probably kick that out in the living room once we get the door open. The pop-up tents are just such a great thing. Like, every cat needs to have some pop-up tents. 
we have a pop-up tunnel as well that's going to look very familiar because it's this this tunnel right here so we have a spare one of those plus a whole bunch of various valentine's day here we got the this is a set of mice that we've already got out i showed you this mouse earlier the other one i think is in the living room we have a couple more of those Ooh, right and then oh and uh we've got these weird little puff balls with things i don't even know what you call them but they're very valentine -y. this one says hey girl <laughs> hey girl uh this is a couple little mice with hearts on them and oh another set of the little fuzzy balls and finally a giant uh valentine narwhal i guess i i didn't know narwhals were still kind of a hot item uh but here you go a heart uh narwhal i'll go for that you know narwhal unicorn of the sea so uh, i got a certain affinity there i, I can get behind that it's all good uh, all right, so uh, for now, I am going to throw a couple of these out because Valentine's Day is fast approaching and we have plenty of extras. So let's put these out here. Isn't Valentine's Day is the is it the fourteenth now? See, I don't even know. What do I know? I don't know anything. We're still going to put all this out here. Hey, girl. All right, we're going to put that one out too. All right, the rest of these I'm going to put away for the moment, and uh, we'll see if we feel like we need a little extra Valentine's cheer before the time comes. I think we're pretty valentiney though. All right. Uh, thank you so much for that Scarlet Hotshot. Absolutely perfect. Made everything a little more holiday resident in here. And now I'm going to go do all the stuff I threatened to do, like get up and put all this stuff away, let the kittens out, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So uh, thanks again to everybody. Whoop. And I will be back. Here we go. I wanted to show you guys real quick a couple other things. Uh, this is some of the Valentine stuff that arrived previously that we put out that was upstairs, and I just grabbed it because I happened to be there. It was a cute little bouquet of rose toys. And then this was something that was sent to DJ. I think this is from uh, Ruth, but uh, I, I, I hate to get that wrong. This was in the, the presents that I saved in the, one of the previous mailbags, you might remember. And this was in DJ's present. And I just went up and saw it. It's the cutest thing. I got to show it to you guys. It is a little doctor cat. It's a little doctor cat holding a, a clipboard that says, we care. It's got a stethoscope and everything. It's got the hat. It's wearing all the scrubs, whiskers, tail. How cute. It's got a little loop here. I think it's meant to be hung like a Christmas tree ornament or something. But for now, it's too sweet. DJ thinks that we should put it in some catnip and give it to the kittens, which is a good idea. <laughs> But I'm going to put it in our cabinet of special things for a little while. So cute. All right, let's get this stuff picked up, kittens. Oh, 
Are you kids helping? If you move the camera and look out in the living room, you guys can go out there. Separate out our desk and our table. And this little thing is cool. Oh, ah. <laughs> All right. Uh, this little thing is so cute. I could almost just leave it here, and it's. Uh, it seems like, you know, without the beanbag chair, uh, it's just so perfect. I am going to put it away for the moment, though. Do you think that little table and the little za So perfect. Kids have gone like to the sunroom and they're running all around the house. They're not in the living room like I wanted them to be, so I will put a camera in there for you to see, but there's nothing in there to see at the moment. Maybe we can encourage some of them to head that direction with some toys and stuff out there, maybe. And the holiday stuff, generic stuff, and endowment stuff that goes downstairs. More or less. Big litter scoop. That's just me. This goes downstairs with the endowments. These go downstairs, downstairs, downstairs. I'm gonna all go downstairs too. Pile it in. Actually, this goes with our stuff. I should have kept the bigger box. I need a bigger boat. Notes are going to end up downstairs and put them in there. 
Okay. What was this one? This was the, uh, oh, the gloves. Yes, yeah, the gloves. Good. And now it goes over here. Ready for uh, what's the game with the little scoops and the ball? Uh, okay, this one here. Do do do. Okay. Oh, uh, 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 uh. All right, that's too fun. And also, uh, it's not working very well for me, is it? Just looking at the door, the, the cat run door, like she wanted to go back outside, but didn't know how. I'm gonna give her another chance to do that in a little bit. She seems like she really enjoys it.
All right, well, this is the last box, and I got to take this out, and the kittens are going every which way, so I guess mailbag's over. Uh, thank you guys again for joining us, and thank you especially for all of your consideration for the kittens at Kitten Academy and the adopters of the kittens at Kitten Academy. Uh, I, it means a lot to me. Uh, it means a lot to the adopters, you know, but it really means a lot to me. Uh, I think the the more I think that the more that the adopters are able to recognize the um, the love for, from all of you for their kittens, maybe the more likely that they are to kind of keep us informed of how things are going in the future for those kittens, right? So uh, I do think it helps that way as well as all the other ways. All right, buddy. There you go. All right. Well, um, uh, if you are watching this on the archive, you should check out the regular Kitten Academy live stream. If you're watching this on the regular Kitten Academy live stream, then don't go anywhere. And I promise I will work on switching up the cameras a bit so that we can see some kittens. Mm -hmm.